Hello and welcome. This is Real Numbers video number 8 and today we are going to learn how to prove square root 2 is an irrational number. So let's do one thing. Let's assume exactly the opposite. Let us assume that square root 2 is actually a rational number. If that is true, then we can write square root 2 as p by q where both p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 because we know that is how we can represent any rational number. So let's say we will have something like maybe p could be the number 10 and q could be the number 18. I am randomly writing two numbers here. If we have something like that, so here 10 we can write it as 2 times 5 and 18 we can write it as 2 times 9. Now we can cancel out the common factor and we will be left with 5 over 9. So let's assume that initially we had square root 2 as p over q. Now we will remove all the common factors and now we are left with a by b such that both a and b are integers and there are no common factors meaning a and b they look like 5 and 9. Right? Now what we are going to do, so what we have is we have square root 2 equals a divided by b. Now we are going to cross multiply. So we will get square root 2 times b will be equal to a. Now let's square both sides. So if you square both sides, we get 2, so I should say square root 2 whole square or square times b square will be equal to a square or this will be 2 square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. So 2b two square equal to a square and now let's divide both sides by 2 so from here so 2 and 2 will cancel out so what we have is let's write it over here b square is equal to a square by 2 now b is an integer so square of b is an integer that means that this number a square by 2 must also be an integer now in order for that to happen a square must be divisible by 2 we have seen in the last video before that if a square can be divided by any prime number, that means that prime number must be a factor of a. In other words, this is something I'm going to let me put a video link of the last uh, video here. If p a prime number divides a square, then p must divide a, right? So let's get back to our proof now. So if that is true, that means we can write from here it implies that we can write the number a as 2 times some other number c where c is an, any other integer. Meaning we are just simply saying that a contains 2 as a factor. Right? So if this is true, if this is true, let's put this here. So we have 2b square equals a square. So instead of a square we are going to put 2c whole square. So we still have here b square 2b square equal to so 2c whole square will be 4c square. Now let's divide both sides by 4 and see what happens. So then this will cancel out. So we get b square this will be 2 will be left here. So we'll have b square by 2 equals c square. Now we just now saw c is an a integer. So then c square must be an integer. So that means b square by 2 must be an integer. Or in other words, 2 divides b square. That means we can say that the number 2 is a factor of b or we can write b as 2 times maybe some number d. All we are saying is that b contains 2 as a factor because only then b square is divisible by 2. So let's see what we have right now. So we have a equals 2 times c where c is an integer. We have just now seen b equals 2 times d where d is an integer. So it seems like a and b have the number 2 as a common factor. But did, it, but did we not start by saying that square root 2 equals a and b where a b they do not have any common factor. But we are realizing that indeed 
A and B have a common factor. That means our initial assumption is wrong. And what is our initial assumption? That let us assume square root 2 is a rational number. That assumption itself is wrong. And hence we say that square root 2, square root 2 is indeed an irrational number. Now I know that you, this is a little bit, a uh, little bit different because we use so much of logic to prove uh, a, a fact that square root 2 is an irrational number. So I would suggest if you have not fully gotten a grasp or handle of it, please slow the video down or go back and watch it again a few times till you're very, very clear about it. And this is exactly the same way we can prove that square root 3 or square root 5 or square root 7 or any other number is an irrational number. So if you have enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel so that and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos that I upload.